magic not frequently used well i beg to differ <laughs> hey everybody my name is cedric from 3d bandit and they'll be showing you what why and what you can do with the magic texture so first what is a magic texture the magic texture is magic uh so the magic texture you can find under textures magic fairly easy to find um, and you can find this magic texture. What does the magic texture do? Uh, if you bring these back to basic stuff, it actually adds magic. Pure, simple magic. <laughs> now, so you have three uh, parameters. You can add, uh, you can uh, change, you can change the depth, which changes some of the algorithms to make funky little patterns. The scale, which uh, does the scaling of the texture like all of the other textures and some distortion to bring it some really cool psychedelic stuff oh i mean this could be a wallpaper that's how awesome it is so why should you use the magic texture well if i go to my examples let's go to my examples the magic texture actually produces some kind of um pattern some kind of this man-made pattern yeah, thank you, Avast. Um, <laughs> some uh, man-made pattern, which you can use to make a lot of cool man-made pattern stuff and bring in very subtle textures. Why are subtle textures so important? Because if you want to achieve photorealism, subtlety is the thing to go to. I see a lot of photorealistic stuff, really great models, uh, and the rough details and the obvious details have been done really, really well. But then, like, you have these flat... Um, surfaces which look fake flat they, they they look fake and and it's because yeah people think oh yeah okay this is flat and let's make it flat no um you want to have in everything you want to have some subtle pattern uh, except for gloss or mirrors maybe uh plastic flat plastic could be well that's already in the gray zone but for all the rest you want to have something subtle and the magic texture is one way of achieving that uh like for instance this one first this one has this pattern like these old tables have or like some chrome pattern which looks really man-made it looks really cool this is just a magic texture with some distortion put as a bump map on a glossy and so easy it is it's magical um Second thing, I really like this one. Um, this brings in some very uh, subtle patterning to some kind of lettery stuff, which makes it look... I mean, people would say, oh, why, don't, why don't you use just a glossy in the fuse? I mean, you can't see this. If, you, if you're this far away, you can't see this. That's not true. You see these subtle details, and this brings in so much more realism, which is really awesome. So yeah, again, this is just a magic texture, not so much distortion. A lot of scaling, put on a glossy and a diffuse. I'm also really hard fan of this one because this is really subtle. This is a, a velvet shader and diffuse shader, both with like a bump of this very subtle pattern. Why not use the noise pattern for this, you ask? Well, subtle patterns need some kind of sharp edges. Like, I mean, the, the textures like the moose grave texture, if you put uh, like a lot of the things, gets. It gets subtle, but it also has hard edges, which brings in really uh, good realism. Um, you don't want to have like this shaded generic noise. Um, it never comes out like very realistic. So yeah, using the magic texture, you can bring in like this pattern of like uh, a carpet or some clothes. It's really awesome. Um, like I did the same thing with this. Oh my God, it's gone. What happened okay this is with a little bit more bump uh scaling a bit down and you have like this more wool kind of shader it could be used for very kind of stuff i mean magic texture is really great if you want to make it man-made you can also put a scaling up and you get these little rings um which are really awesome i mean why not use this this could be some kind of rubber yeah tool be creative <laughs> um 
another one which I'm a really big fan of is this. You can make chainmail. Uh, like if you need small chainmail details, don't go modeling the rings or searching for textures and generating normal maps for them and blah blah blah. That's all just a hassle. If you want realistic uh, looking chainmail details or like just on a character or stuff and you want procedural, which is awesome, um, yeah, just use the magic texture. This is also just a basic magic texture on a glossy shader. Nothing more. And maybe a bit of noise. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, you can add like this. You can add a little bit of noise. Um, this actually, uh, I used to... Uh, yeah, I can uh, give, give an example of this. This one actually uses a color ramp to get out the rings of this. I can see it's with a little bit of noise. I used to mix to bring out the colors. You can go like... You can go even more complex with this. Uh, I used the mix shader to get the scarf in my latest character, which you can see the time lapse here or here. I don't know, somewhere. Click on the screen. Um, and uh, yeah, so bringing in these subtle patterns gets you a lot of cool detail. And cool detail is cool and magic. <laughs> So, uh, thanks for watching, uh, I hope you learn something and you get creative with it. And uh, well, I'll see you next time, like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, happy blending! <laughs>